Let's start with contrast ratio, and I'll switch over to the generator. We've got a, a quantum data PD780 in line here, and I want to feed all the panels black and shut the light off because Black level is probably the single most important component of contrast ratio. How good your black is is going to be a large part of how high your contrast ratio is, particularly when you set light output to an even level like we've done on all these panels. And then I'll tell you, I can read out what the actual contrast ratio measurement that we obtain from it, all of the panels is. <coughs> And Ed, you have the uh, signal generator back in line? Yes, I do. Very good. And it should be set for raster at zero, I think. Let's see in a sec. <coughs> we were even contemplating covering the exit sign, but we decided not to break the fire code. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it. you think it's funny, but in a movie theater, there, mm -hmm. there have been some measurements done where if you shut, if you cover the two or three exit signs in a, in a big movie theater, you'll get somewhere about 300 to one uh, contrast ratio measuring off screen. When they're on, it's more like 180. It's almost half. A little bit of light like that can just do a lot of damage. Um, all right. So in some cases, unfair. Sony LED <laughs> shut off all the way. Samsung shut off. Samsung. So Samsung shuts off all the way. Um, the plasmas you're looking at, video black, zero IRE is being fed to everything. That's the black level that you're going to see. Off the Sony shuts off, yeah. The Elite, interestingly, doesn't shut off all the way. However, that's not necessarily a bad thing, exactly. Because when there is picture material on the screen and black around it, and you'll look at that later, you'll see that they do. Um, so now we could switch over and look at a pluge pattern so I can show you all that your black level on all of the panels is correct. Uh, okay, you know what, I was going to actually switch it over to... This is a pluge pattern coming off the generator, which is fine, but there's a better one on Spears and Munsell called uh, Dynamic Range Low, um, where you've got zero to... Um, you set it to 16 for video black. Um. And also remember, if you're looking at an LED uh, and you're way off axis, this is not going to look correct at all. Um, so make sure, if you want to see what's going on, make sure that you're looking in the center. That's the problem. So. Well, that's the Samsung's uh, gaming software. That ah, is look at turning it off completely. It that actually will, it'll fade back in and then fade yeah. out a little bit. Right. You know what? This is the toughest panel in the room to set black level on. No, just kidding. We <laughs> uh, might want to use a different pattern. Yeah. Um, but, uh, it doesn't like it. But it, is it not off. enough of a signal for it? Or no, it it's, it's their, their, um, their dimming algorithm. It, the way that it does it, it's, it doesn't like this particular panel. I mean, um, pattern. pattern. <laughs> okay, I mean, let's get something yes. brighter on the screen for it. This one? Maybe it'll like <laughs> dynamic range. Oh, it goes. It's just it just looks right? Yeah. It'll wake up. Yeah, it was on the floor. floor. So you need some white. You need some kind of white. Yeah. Um, so while we're talking about black level, uh, when I get a little light on uh, from the screens here, I'll read off the uh, MLL on all six panels. The best one, of course, was the Samsung because they shut off at the number of zero. <laughs> yeah. Zero, 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 zero. zero. MLL is a minimum luminance level, which means how black can it get? What's the lowest amount of light, the least amount of light that they'll put out with, I guess, a zero signature? is none more black. Yes. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Sony would be the same also. Yeah, the Sony also is off. All right, so let's let's talk about MLL. You got zeros on the Sony. Actually, we have zero 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 one on the Sony according to this data sheet I have. Uh, all zeros on the Samsung. The Panasonic measured point zero zero three four. 
Uh, the Samsung TN59D8000 measured 0 0.0061. The, the Samsung UN59D8000 measured uh, all zeros, excuse me. The LG measured 0 0.056. The Elite measured 0 0.0004. Measurements were taken, in, obviously, in a completely dark room, but with, um, you know what, what uh, I'll show you what we did it with, with a 4x4 uh, four four checkerboard ANSI pattern. It's an ANSI method that it's on screen ANSI um, with Klein K10 meters. Uh, which go with measure, what, what is the spec on that, Dwayne? They measure Far below any of these panels except for, except for the zeros. Yeah, the zeros. <laughs> which you actually correctly measure them at zero. Mm -hmm. uh, we're in a, okay, now. Again, it's a little misleading to all zeros because the panel shuts off. It has to have, it has to be on to be viewing, so, you know, when you send a zero stimulus to it and it shuts off, it's, it's off. Hey, so it's Ed, not a real measure. measure. It's not do a, me a favor, go measure. to page two on the generator and just hit the checkerboard for me. Oh, that's right. your ANSI. Uh, oh, and you can visually, <laughs> you can see which ones look like the dark squares, which ones look really dark, which ones look a little less dark. So, but, <coughs> so the numbers on the contrast ratio, starting from left to right, the Panasonic, 6679 to 1, 6679 to 1. Samsung PN59D8000. 3,016 to 1. Samsung UN50 or 60 D8000, um, 3,237 to 1. The LG came in at the lowest by far at 682 to 1. Blacks on it are really not very good. The Elite is king of contrast ratio in this room at 15,194 to 1. <laughs> by a good bit. Uh, the Sony, 2179 to 1. So that'll tell you that just because the LEDs do shut off and give you all black and you feed it a black signal doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the highest contrast ratio out of that panel. Mm -hmm. So those are a couple of elements of, of contrast ratio. The other one, of course, that would either serve to hurt it or help it would be gamma. Um, if your gamma is too low and you're coming out of black too fast, your contrast ratio is going to suffer. In years past, we would always set panels to 2.2. Um, there's been a specification in the mastering of film that's just become uh, a written spec recently in Hollywood, and that is they're moving to 2.4. They've, they've basically set that in stone. So we set each one of these to as close as 2.4 to as possible because we've got a dedicated control environment here. Um, I've been using 2.4 in theaters, from projection theaters that are designed correctly for a couple of years now. Um, so uh, you'll get that data also in the PDFs, I believe, right, Dwayne? It show, does it show that? Yeah, it shows the gamma. That, at yeah. each level as well? It's so that you can see what it is at 10%, what it is at 20%, uh, on up to 100% and see how well it tracks its gamma curve. Um, most of them do a very, very good job. Uh, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me. There's too, just too many of them. But that'll be um, on Robert's website, PDF form, online, yeah. TV, whatever, within a couple of minutes. Um, I, if memory serves, I, I think they're all doing a very nice job in terms of gamma. Yeah, I'm also tracking correctly, I would say, from 30 to 90. Um, some of them from 10 to 20, 10, 20 are lower than what they should be. Um, okay. Yeah, like the, the Elite doesn't track properly. Pan uh, the Panasonic doesn't track properly either. Um, the Samsung does from 10 to 90. Really? Yep. Both sensors? You mean the Samsung Plasma, Plasma right? Plasma. 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 Yeah. Plasma. Yeah. Yeah. Not, the L or not the LED. But you say track properly, maybe not exactly perfectly, but they're pretty close. Right. If, if you're looking at it from a perfection perspective, I would say from 30 to 90, this one, Panasonic, nailed it, right at 2.4 across the board. 
Good. And that was because of the control set mm -hmm. that it has. Good. Um, okay, well, let's go to parameter number two, which is color saturation, the actual amount of color in the picture. Is the decoding correct? Um, I actually need HD basics in one of those players, and I had to pop it out for the movie. Uh, can you use the A1 Denon, just take the movie out of does, there? Does everybody feel they have a good feeling for A1's who's the got top? the blackest black uh, here? It's the middle. Okay, yeah, well, do you have any questions? Kind of or is this in uncalibrated mode still? Or? No, 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 no we moved everything into calibrated mode. Dwayne, what were you going to say there? I would say with this particular pattern, it's probably going to be hard to tell except for that LG. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, the plasmas, all the, well, this first bottom row should pretty much be very similar if you're on axis with the LED LCD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But should we do uh, a one percent black or something, or is there a better way for them to see black here? You can do that if you want. We can go back to the generator and do that. But we're on the generator. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is that what's the best way for the audience to really vote on the blackest TV here? Is it one percent? Then let's feed it one percent. That's a good idea. So you can see, hopefully, the uh, Samsung LED light up a little bit. <laughs> Hey, Ed. Yes, sir. When you have a chance. Um, we're on the generator. Can you go back to page one into raster, and it's at zero. You can bump it up just plus one, and that will give us 1%. Uh, plus one. one. There you go. So, Samsung so there's 1%. The Samsung's still that on the Sony camera. camera. Yeah, that's a good thing for the Sony, and mm -hmm. not so good thing for, for the Samsung. Yeah, if you want to see two. something at 1%, there. Try two. Yeah, you definitely do. There, you go. there we go. Okay. <laughs> It's not a real test of how black can get. It? No, it's cheating. It is. Yeah. It is cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two percent. By the way, I have the ballots here, which I want to hand out, along with a roadmap of the TVs identified on it. Uh, so uh, we might need lights for a minute to pass it around. I think we should vote on each attribute as we discuss that one at a time. So uh, let's get some of these uh, passed around.